Welcome to the second user request episode. In the last video, I promised to show you our favorite settings for mastering and exporting video. After you finished your edit, you want to get the best image quality out of your video. You want to maintain the original quality without any loss. To render your master, there are two future-proof ways to do so. Since we are sometimes doing cinema ads, we have to deliver the commercial in single frames with a separate audio track. The usual file format for this is DPX, JPEG or TIFF. The great thing is that you get the maximum quality out of your video because the frames are not as compressed as other formats. The downside is that you can play it back with a video player and that the audio file is not attached to the frames. But in future, this might be easier to watch. Archiving those videos as single frames is expensive because the files are very big. Another standard format is ProRes. If you render your film in ProRes, you will get a MOV video file which you can play back on most computers. If your original clips were shot with a DSLR, you have an 8-bit color depth. The great thing about ProRes is, you can choose the color depth, that means you can export the film with 8-bit or let's say 10-bit. An alternative to ProRes is DNX HD. If you want to present your work online on YouTube or Vimeo, it doesn't make sense to upload those huge files, so I'm going to show you now the best render settings for the web. The problem is that everybody you ask about export settings for YouTube will definitely tell you something different. These are our favorite settings. In general, I recommend the formats MPG2, MOV and MP4, depending on the source clips. Even there are a lot of render presets, I don't recommend any of these. The first thing to do is check the resolution. My footage was shot in full HD, so I'm going to select this resolution. Make sure the picture quality is high and select a frame rate like 24 frames per second. Since my footage is progressive, I won't need a pull down. You only need to select lower or upper first when your footage was taken with a DV or HDV camera that only delivers interlaced video. An option that many people underestimate is the bitrate. The bitrate is the data rate per second. If the rate is too low, you will see a lot of artifacts. To avoid this, make sure it is between 10,000 and 16,000, depending on the length of the video and, of course, the file size you want to upload. YouTube compresses every video and the final bitrate you see online will be much lower. But it's always better to give the provider high quality files because if there are artifacts in the first place, it will get even worse after the web compression. Another point to upload big files is that YouTube will likely change the compression for good in the future and upgrade the older videos to the better video quality. If you have a question that needs to be answered, post it on our website and with a bit of luck we will answer it.